that is the motivation. The, the motivation for us to live a holy life is that Christ is in us and we are in Christ. There's no higher motivation than that. We, we, if we're motivated by anything other than the honor of Christ and the glory of God, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's a secondary or tertiary motivation. Everything should be for the love of the Lord. Everything should be for the honor of the Lord. Whatever you do, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. Uh, all things are by him, all things are for him. The end of all things, uh, even evangelism, it says in, in John and Romans, is for the sake of the name, for the glory of the name of the Lord. So I, I, I think um, we, we have to understand that God is having justified us and uh, transformed us and begun the process of sanctification. God is conforming us to the image of his son by the Holy Spirit, 2 Corinthians 3.18. Uh, everything that comes our way, by the way, even this kind of thing, as James would say, the, the count it all joy when you fall into various trials because they have a perfecting work. This is all part for the believer of the conditions in life that maybe we wouldn't choose, but that God uses as part of our perfection, part of our move toward Christ-likeness. So I think we embrace these things. I can go back in my pastoral ministry, and I've, I've said this to our people many times, the most difficult personal times in my life, whether it was a, an illness or whether it was a disaster or whatever it was, the most difficult times in my life personally have been the times when there is the most evident expression of the power and the presence of the Lord. So these are the best of times. I even tell pastors, embrace trouble, embrace tribulation, because this is God doing his best work in your heart and drawing you near to him. And I think believers in this hour need to look at this as God perfecting them, God maybe trimming off some unnecessary things, maybe lessening their preoccupation with what is temporal because it is so fragile and so temporary. So I, 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 the Lord is perfecting you if you're his child. Embrace the trouble and find in that trouble the hand of the Lord moving you more toward the Lord Jesus Christ. And again, one of the things that is going to become very uh, fresh to us is the idea that we're not in control of all the elements of our lives. Uh, and we, we can hold a lot of things much more lightly than we do. We, we hold sometimes a death grip on temporal things. This is a good time to reassess that.